so it's almost July. What's going on? Um, remember back in December, those of you who were subscribed back then, hey, um, remember back in December when I like didn't get a chance to set up my January 2018 Bujo until like fe mid February. Um, is that right? It was definitely February. Um, basically, first trimester hit me really hard. Um, and I wasn't like feeling up to doing it all. Um, and then it kind of ended up at a point where I didn't have like the time to sit down and set it up or the inclination to. And plus I was just, I was, I made a hard reset. It worked out. Um, I kind of hard reset my whole system. Um, there's a video on my channel where I, um, I show my flip through of my January Bujo and sort of how I basically just went a single insert and a pen and it worked right because that's what the bullet journal journal system is designed to do is like if you've got your paper and your pen you can figure out what you need to do today right so it was good that I was able to get that reset and figure out what I needed for you know my setup for the next year and kind of give myself time to figure that out and time to get my schedule underneath me before worrying about like the pretty and like the the setup that I wanted. Um, and like I said, the, the basic bullet journal system set up by writer Carol is great for that. Like I, I knew what I needed to get done every day and I didn't feel like anything was falling through the cracks. But at the same time, when I had my system for February and onward set up where I had the pages where I wanted them, where I had like different inserts for different purposes, um, and everything was, you know, a little bit decorated to the point where it was nice to look at. Um, I feel like I'm able to get more than just today done. I feel like I'm able to look ahead, plan for projects, and just sort of set goals and work for a larger future kind of focus um, that I can't really when I was in just the day-to-day -day survival mode that I was in January. Um, and so... I just I prefer things when I'm a bit more relaxed and I feel like I can trust the system I have that it's set up in a way that I can trust it um, that I know where everything is that I know that things aren't going to slip through the cracks because I have systems systems in place to remind me of what I want to get done um, and ways to keep track of my goals and all of that so uh, as you're watching this this is like almost my due date I don't even know because I'm filming this in advance um, maybe I have a baby by now so I really wanted to make sure that with life getting crazy again, um, in even more of a wonderful way, but unexpected way, um, I don't want a repeat of what happened in January where I felt like I couldn't trust my planner system, that it was just sort of crumbling. I needed to just keep on top of day to day. I would like to still have sort of a focus on larger goals in life um, and a, a place in my planner that I can trust. So I've been focusing really hard on my setup for J uh, July and on. And actually, I've been using this since May, really. I started using it a bit in April, but in earnest, I've been using just this in May. Um, and so this is the system that you're going to be seeing me set up for the next few weeks um, of my maternity leave. And the goals that I had for this, basically, three things. I wanted all of my videos set up and uploaded ahead of time so that you guys wouldn't be missing out on videos while I am focusing on learning how to be a mom. Um, so if you're seeing this, that means that I probably achieved my goal and you're going to have stuff to see at least twice a week. My Sims videos on Tuesday and my planner videos on Thursdays. I explained all of that in last Sunday's video, so you'll have seen what my plans are for when you'll actually get to see content from me. Um, second thing is pre-printed dailies. The bullet journal system where you write out your day every single day, that's great, but I didn't want to have even that amount of setup. I kind of feel like um, when life is crazy, I want to have a place that's like a day, uh, a page per day set up that's pre-printed and that I can just know what's going to be there and can trust that it's going to be there and I won't have to worry about it. Um, so that is what I've got in here. And then the third thing is I wanted a place, uh, sort of like a communal chores list for um, things that I want to get done that I don't want to forget about, things that um, my husband can help around the house when I'm maybe, you know, strapped to a nursing baby, 
or things that um, family and friends, if they show up and they want to make themselves useful, I can have a place, a page in my planner where I can say, here's a list of things you can do. Thank you. Um, so that is part of what I have set up in here. I've been um, really enjoying what I've got. And so you're going to be seeing that over the next few weeks of videos. Uh, my Thursday videos are going to be dedicated uh, to the setup process for getting into this new thing. And then when I get back from maternity leave, I will be able to give you more information on how it's worked, uh, whether I've achieved those goals um, and how things may have changed a bit in here since the initial setup. But um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe because there are still going to be videos coming out for the next few months um, on at least a weekly schedule. So I will see you guys in the next one, hopefully on Sunday. But again, like I mentioned in last Sunday's video, I, I'm not going to guarantee any Sunday videos, but um, yeah, I will see you guys when I see you. <laughs> Bye.